right, now, ladies and gentlemen, our first uh, real guest tonight has appeared in Aussie classics such as Cracker Jack, Boy Town, and the McAuliffe Program, but is best known for her ABC hit, The Librarians. Please welcome the fantastic Miss Robin Butler. <laughs> welcome. Thank you. You're very kind. Thank <laughs> you. Firstly, how are you? Are you well? I'm very well. This yeah. is lovely, isn't it? Well, yeah. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. We, I, I did want to ask you, first thing off the bat is, we had uh, Wayne Hope, your, of course, husband, on the show last week. Now, his <laughs> remark was that he is easily <laughs> the most talented out of the two of you. Uh, is there anything you have to say to that? Um... <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Well, when we watched it back, because Wayne makes me watch everything back, that, like I had to watch it at home, obviously, while he was on it, and then we had to record it, and then we went through it when he came home. Did you really? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday nights. <laughs> um, we, can, so we can count those as ratings for us, because <laughs> collectively, that's the best ratings uh, we've ever got. He, look, if it makes him happy, thinking he's the most talented, then, 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 he can be the most talented. Okay. He's probably watching. <laughs> no, I was joking. It now, was we a are... joke. <laughs> no. Now, um, we are going to talk about the librarians, but I did want to talk about kind of some work. You have such a massive body of work. And I, I didn't say massive body. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Just, oh, yeah. And that's it, full stop. Okay. No, we, I did want to talk about a few of other, uh, your other projects. Yes. I mean, Triple M, you had a, a couple of years doing Tough Love with Mick Malloy. Yes. Now, everyone I speak to that has had a job in radio, uh, each time I, I bring it up, they kind of go, like there's a bitter aftertaste in their mouth. Did oh, you yeah. leave on good, good terms? No. Or? Right. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> we, no, well, it's commercial radio. No, right. look, com it was great. I actually had a ball. I loved it. I loved working with Mick. Um, I loved. I love radio. Yes, I got sent poo in the post occasionally. Um, when you get, Sometimes. <laughs> I really did. <laughs> you think I'm joking? Did you really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't technically open it because somebody else opens your mail because you know you might be likely to get poo <laughs> um, because you might say something that some crazy person in Queensland doesn't like. Um, do you reckon they've... And thank you, Peter Beatty. Do, <laughs> do you reckon they've done it straight into the envelope? Or do you reckon they've... I, do you reckon they've done it somewhere and they've picked it up and put it into the envelope? We had a big discussion because everybody went, like, human. <laughs> and everybody was convinced it was human. So, it, I, I don't you know. know. I don't know whether they... I mean, how do you do that? And do you do it? Yeah. And it's it's got to be a big envelope. Sure, they, they probably do it somewhere. And it's almost like, well, the joke's on you, mate, because sure, you've sent this to me, but you've held it. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, you licked Who's the, the bigger loser here? You licked the stamp. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you got close. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know they're adhesive, but for the sake of the joke, you licked the stamp. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Now, some of, your, uh, some of your other work, you also worked on Eric, the Eric Banner yes. sketch show, which up until today, I'd kind of forgotten about. Along it, with the Channel 7 executives, when it was on air. It, <laughs> well, it did. It just disappeared out of the, out of the ether. Yes, um, how was that to work on? It was brilliant. That was the start of my whole life, really, here in Melbourne. It was my first sort of telly job, because I was from Sydney, and I'd, I'd moved to Melbourne, and I met uh, Bob Franklin, Ros Hammond, Stephen Curry, Eric. Um, Matt Cameron was the head writer, and it was the most fun. We wrote and performed all this stuff. It was just fantastic. It was, it was the birth of a lot of what we do now. And, um, and we did, then Matt Cameron, Bob Franklin, Stephen Curry, Ros Hammond and I, we all went on and made this show called Small Tales and True for the Comedy Channel, which was a mockumentary series. I mean, this is, you know, 10 years ago. And that's where I met Wayne. Yeah, right. And not that I want to talk about him anymore, but enough, but you know. Well, you guys, <laughs> you guys, you wrote The Librarians together. Yes, if he was did. pissing you off, would you just kind of go away and change a scene so, you know, when he got to filming, they're like, Wayne, you do know you're masturbating in the shower in this scene. And he's like, what? And that yeah. comes from the fight. Do you yeah. just write him into awful scenes? 
No. 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 <laughs> uh, I heard you ask him last week, does he sort of write himself Look, more into Because his character seemed to grow. Hello? Hello? I thought it was about me and Roz. I thought the show was about me and Roz. No, apparently it's all about Francis and Terry as the show uh, <laughs> transpires. So, um, so much in the third season that he's needed someone else to step behind the lens for two episodes. Yeah, yeah. Tony Martin comes in to direct two episodes this time, which was fantastic. Hey, the group Mad of, as a cut snake, but fantastic. The, the group of people that you were talking about before, uh, you've had a lot of people that you've worked with continuously over the years. Mm. Uh, like you said, Ros Hammond, uh, Sean McAuliffe, obviously Wayne. Mm. Uh, is this a friendship that, that exists? Festers? Yeah. Or, yes. or is it, do you just work together because it works and, and nothing else? Uh, we don't know anybody else. We try to get out and meet people. Like I've had poker nights and stuff, but nothing seems to take <laughs> off. <laughs> I just, I just seem to offend. I bring up the poo in the post story and people just make for the door and... Um, no, it's really, it's, it's really, uh, it, it is what works. And everybody always says that, you know, how come you and Wayne are, you know, how can you be married and work together and all of that. But it works. We just, we find each other funny and we find all those people funny. That's kind of our tribe, you know, so it works. Do you guys bicker like family bicker? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> With all of us, Wayne and me. No, oh, the whole us. gang. Oh yeah, you know, and Gary McCaffrey's in that group too. And we, <laughs> so you said, Bicker, I bring him up. Uh, no, we all we all have healthy, robust discussions about things. Well, uh, you are going to stick around later. I don't know if you know this, and maybe help us out with a sketch. Um, okay. It's a good. <laughs> It's, look, I shouldn't yes. have advertised it because it's an average idea at the moment, but okay. we're hoping you turn it into brilliance. Watch this. This is the plan here. And if it goes well, <laughs> I'll go, Robin is brilliant. And if it goes badly, I'll go, our cast is rubbish. Uh, so you can't lose. But I, Beautiful. lastly, I, I used to play pranks in my school library. Uh, with. I would often hide like puberty books into people's pencil cases. And so when they walked out, beep, 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 and everyone look at them and they go, oh, really funny. Are nice. we expecting these nice. kind of prank shenanigans in series three? Uh, mm, there are a few pranks. Not really. We've got 17 stunts in the show. Bang. We don't have puberty. But I wish I'd thought of that. I wish you'd told me. We have a lot of stuff deposited down the chute and librarians get upset about that because apparently we're just <laughs> encouraging rascals. <laughs> I love it. Well, Robin Butler, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you back uh, a bit later. Librarians 3, when, when's it going to air? Uh, later this year. Uh, later, later this year on, on a Wednesday night. I, Wayne said the thing. I don't know if he's allowed to say it. Isn't he? October 13. <laughs> <laughs> he said Wait. it, but I wouldn't say it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please thank Robin Butler. <laughs>